Hey, it's me, Raika. Today we're going to have a look at Mishka, the wild child. Now this hero is part of the wilder faction, where his plate-based gear is part of the tank class, and her primary role is control the enemies, distract the enemies as well, and provide a significant amount of healing and shielding for your allies. So let's have a look at her skills. Her ultimate skill, Wear Bear. Mishka transforms into a wear bear form and jumps into the densest area of enemies, dealing 250% damage to surrounding enemies as she hits the ground, knocking them into the air and stunning them for 5 seconds. 250% additional damage is also dealt to the central enemy hero. After hitting the ground, Mishka lets out a terrifying growl, which reduces the enemy's defense by 30% for 8 seconds. This effect cannot be stacked. Mishka is able to ignore all control effects while in the wear bear form. The level 2, enemies defenses are reduced by 40% and the level 3, enemies are stunned for 6 seconds. Her next ability, Dire Wolves, which is a passive skill. Mishka fights with two wolves by her side. The wolves possess 150% of Mishka's attack rating and 50% of all her attributes. When a wolf attacks an enemy, they will mark the enemy with a feral bite mark, which lasts for 10 seconds. Each time Mishka deals damage to a marked enemy, she'll do additional damage equal to 5% of the enemy's current health, but the damage shall not exceed 300% of Mishka's attack rating. The level two, the attributes that she gives to her wolves are increased by 80% and the attack rating increase is increased to 200% for the level 3 upgrade. And the level 4 upgrade, the additional damage that Mishka deals to enemies marked with a feral bite is increased to 10% of their current health, but shall not exceed 600% of Mishka's attack rating. Her next ability, Call of the Wild. Mishka's wolves sprint over to the enemy target and grip onto them, causing them to be unable to move or use any skills, marking them with a feral bite mark in the process. Mishka then slashes the enemy three times, dealing 220% damage per attack, with the final attack knocking the enemy down and stunning them for two seconds. When one of Mishka's wolves die, the number of attacks becomes two. When the wolves have died, this skill cannot be used anymore. So essentially, once she loses both of her two pets or her wolves, the skill will be inactive. Now the level two and three increase the amount of damage that she does. And the level four, once again, is the 30 engravings. The damage of this attack is increased to 500% if an enemy is using a shield. Her next ability, natural rejuvenation. Mishka pours a healing resin over herself and her wolves. That heals a value equal to 150% of her attack rating and provides a shield that exists for 6 seconds which is able to mitigate damage with 300% of Mishka's attack rating. The shield's value is increased to 330% of her attack rating, the level 3, 360% and the 60 engravings. All allied heroes receive the healing and are shielded when Mishka uses this specific ability. So let's have a look at her signature item. Bear Talons. When you unlock the skill, Mishka's, when Mishka uses her ultimate skill, she will receive 30% damage reduction for 8 seconds. If this skill is used again while the damage reduction effects are still present, its effects will be essentially reset. So, since she'll get the full duration and she'll get 30% damage reduction. The level 10. Allied heroes attacking enemies marked with a feral bite deal 15% more damage. The same is true for the 20 upgrade. This damage is increased all the way to 30%. And finally, the 30 engravings, each enemy that is knocked into the air by Mishka's ultimate skill, increase the percentage of damage reduction by additional 10%. Additional damage reduction can be increased to a maximum of 40%. So this signature item of hers gives her a massive amount of survivability when this is fully unlocked. So let's have a look at her furniture. So her 3 out of 3 furniture. 
50% of the damage dealt by Mishka's wolves is converted into health for her. The 9 out of 9, each time a wolf dies. Mishka's energy is immediately replenished and her attack rating is increased by 20% and her attack speed is increased by an additional 25 points for the remainder of the battle. So this is a permanent buff and this essentially allows it to get more powerful the longer the fight continues. So how does she do in battle? Now usually when Mishka is used in battle, she's used as a control based hero. So, as we can see, she starts on the front line. Now, as soon as this begins, the battle, the wolves will jump behind the enemy, essentially turning the enemy around if you're fighting a hero such as Arthur or any hero that is direction focused. So, as we can see, both the wolves and Mishka are gaining the shield and they are healing each other while dealing damage to the enemies. Now, as we can see, even though Mishka might not necessarily be on the front line, her walls are providing a significant amount of distraction while Mishka uses her ultimates and knockbacks and stuns the enemy. So let's have a look at how she works at a much higher deficit. Now, usually when using Mishka, we would place her in teams that essentially need a lot of burst control. So when fighting at extremely high deficits, usually your heroes get immediately one shot. However, because of Mishka's signature item and her furniture, this allows her to use her ultimate nearly immediately as soon as she walks into battle. So we're going to have a look at this specific battle. So when she walks, one of her wolves immediately dies. There we go. She, her wolves died and she used her ultimate. Then she jumped into the most populated area and stunning all of the heroes. This allowed the backline to essentially use their abilities and not to be one shot by the enemies. This distraction is crucial, especially at higher level deficits, as this allows your backline heroes or teammates to essentially use their abilities, use their additional control abilities, while Mishka is essentially distracting them, healing your allies and providing a significant amount of shielding for your heroes. There we go. These heroes are essentially these top three heroes, essentially being Kazard, Lucius, and Fawkes, are constantly being stunned and distracted by Mishka. Now, as soon as the top two heroes, Fawkes, has died, Mishka will immediately jump to the bottom and stun the bottom two heroes. So, if, for example, the bottom two heroes are getting out of their control based effect, Mishka will provide the necessary control for your allies to stun them and keep the control on your allied side of the battlefield. Now, even though Mishka's wolves have died, she's still able to provide all the necessary buffs for her allies due to her engravings, signature item, and furniture. So let's speed up this battle. So we can see that one of the teams that she works extremely well in is a control-based heavy team such as Roku, and Leonardo da Vinci. Now we can have a look at another similar team. Now this is a five pool team that we can see over here. There we go. So we have Iran and then we have Skria. Now both of these heroes will group all the enemies together and this will allow Mishka to essentially jump and stun all of the heroes permanently through the entire duration of the battlefield. Now because the enemies are grouped up so tightly together, she'll constantly be stunning and interrupting all of them. In addition to this, she will be able to easily be able to full heal her entire teammates because of her investment that this player has put into this specific hero. So, what is the minimum amount of investment that I would recommend into this hero? That would be maxing out her signature item. As this gives her the necessary damage reduction being 40%, this allows her to survive for much longer in the battle. However, this might not necessarily be a priority as this is extremely expensive. However, I would highly recommend getting the 20 signature item, which is extremely easy to get because of the increase of 30% increased damage that your allies will do onto the marked targets based on the Feral's bite. Now, the additional damage reduction is always helpful. However, you can always invest this at a much later period of time and it will simply make Mishka more tanky and increase the amount of damage that you do to the enemies. 
Now, her furniture is also extremely important as this allows her to essentially immediately use her ultimate skill and get control over the battlefield. This in some cases is mandatory for her because this immediate ultimate allows her to essentially jump onto the enemy or enemies that are essentially dealing the most damage to your team. And this gives you control over the battlefield. Now her engravings, this is also crucial as well. And I would recommend getting her all the way to 60 engravings as this allows you to provide healing and shields for your entire team. Now, now Mishka's 30 signature item is not that strong. However, the stats that it provides is crucial so that she can survive long enough into the battle and provide all the necessary buffs and control effects for her teammates.